Dear MicroStrategists, welcome to this brand new video where I will show you how to use the new MicroStrategy PowerPoint add-in. Very, very simple. A few steps to get your favorite images in your PowerPoint directly from a MicroStrategy. So first, very easily, you can connect to MicroStrategy within your PowerPoint desktop app. If single sign-on is set up, this is a step that will be done automatically, so you won't have to think about it. Secondly, uh, you just have to choose your favorite dashboard you want to get visualizations from directly from your MicroStrategy library. Third step, select one or more objects to import directly as images into your PowerPoint presentation. Step number four, design your slide as you normally would, and you can also resize the images if needed uh, to fit uh, your overall uh, design. Uh, fifth and last step, when you're done, you can refresh uh, one or multiple images anytime uh, you need it and get really the latest snapshot of the data. All right, so let's dive straight into it and I will show you how the add-in works. So I will put a link in the description for the requirements and also the steps to install the add-in. It's a very simple process that can be done centrally but here is how it looks when it's installed so you can simply click on it to import the data and you will immediately get an embedded view of your microsurgery library with your favorite dossiers so this is really the library that you used to see in the web so if you want to navigate the content through the content discovery and choose uh, your dashboard like this it's also possible but i have already identified the dashboard i want to get visualizations from so it's super simple. Uh, you can either take them as is, or you can also filter the data. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to choose data for the quarter that just finished. And I would like to speak about the two most important categories for this quarterly sales results, results of my fictional company, which are coffee and equipment. So once I'm happy with that, I can apply it and it will filter your dashboard just as it normally would uh, in uh, the library. And then you can import one or multiple visualizations. So I will I will display the Switzerland map for the sales numbers for the categories, but also the two categories across the different sales channels. Once I'm happy, you will see that it will make a snapshot uh, very quickly of your latest uh, data and display it immediately in PowerPoint as images. So it's a very uh, quick process and you're not done there because you can resize the images as needed. Uh, you can see here that this grid is not the perfect format. So you can resize how you would want it and then uh, select it and just refresh it on the fly to match the container size that you have chosen. Perfect. So I'm going to finish this slide and I will finish up my video right after. So I'm done with this, uh, with this slide. Uh, just to present the quarterly results, I've made an analysis of the different uh, data points and visualizations that I imported. And now as a really last step, I want to show you what it would look like uh, were I to uh, change some format or even change the filter just uh, to update it once there is a new quarter. Let's go right into our uh, dossier interface and just so I can show you how the format would change, how it adapts super quickly, I decided that this is not currently visible enough for the data points because they are gray, over gray, so I cannot see it uh, easily enough. So I'm going to update this uh, immediately and then I am going back into my PowerPoint plugin. Uh, first of all, I'm going to refresh the map just to so show you how it looks like uh, that it takes it up on the fly and adapts really to the container that you've chosen or to any changes that you might have done in the dashboard. But let's now imagine that we would have data for a new quarter. So we could do the same where we edit the visualization, we change up the filter for Q4, for example, that is about to finish. So we change the filter, we update our visualization and just like that, we have the profit for the next uh, quarter. 
So very easy. You can also update them all together uh, when the new data comes in. So it's an automatic process. You always have the latest results and that is mixed together with just the ease of use of PowerPoint, the whole flexibility of it. So yeah, that was it for the video. If you have questions, please post them in the YouTube comments and I will answer to them and see you for the next video. This was Ferdinando Pepe.